Tonight, the I-Team has learned the correctional facility at the very center of several recent inmate escapes houses violent offenders. The director for River City Correctional Center says the facility focuses on treatment of low-level felony offenders. But as Chief I-Team reporter Craig Cheatham found, some of them have long histories of committing violent crimes. I can't open that gate because I keep it locked. Tina Newsom says she's lived next to the River City Correctional Center since it opened in 1998. We never get alert when someone's escaping or someone's, well, walked out or whatever they call it. Newsom says she's always been told the inmates are nonviolent, low-level felony offenders sent there for treatment. It was a point emphasized last week by River City's executive director, Scott McVeigh who said the Community Correctional Center is a diversion from prison. It's low-level felony offenders who generally have drug, uh, alcohol, some type of substance abuse issue, maybe a sex offense, crime. But we told Mrs. Newsom the I-Team's investigation has confirmed some River City inmates were convicted of rape, assault, aggravated assault, and aggravated robbery. One inmate is there on a judicial release after serving more than a decade in prison for pistol whipping two women. Another has been convicted four times of aggravated or felonious assault since 1998. Eight months ago, he used a knife to cut a man in his stomach and chest. After he pleaded guilty to the lesser charge, a judge sentenced him here. I never had a dream all them people were over there. I thought they were nonviolent people. The I-Team began investigating River City after several inmates escaped in recent weeks. One of them held a woman at knife point during a 12-hour police standoff that ended when police shot and killed him. We are not considered a prison or even to the level of a jail as far as security-wise. McVeigh has declined the I-Team's request for an interview to discuss the escapes, how long it took to notify law enforcement inmates had escaped, and why the Correctional Center doesn't notify residents when an inmate escapes or walks away. They have to let us know if someone's escaped right away. That is very important for us to know. I mean, I'm back there in my garage and the door's open. You don't know who's going to walk up that alley. That alley is next to the correctional center and leads right to her home. I'll be more aware now, very much more aware. There are about 170 inmates at River City. The I-Team's investigation found that at least 19 of them were convicted of rape, aggravated assault, aggravated robbery, robbery, or sexual battery in their most recent criminal cases. Tomorrow, the River City three-member civilian board is scheduled to meet at the Correctional Center, and we'll be there.